Can I keep you waiting? You're late! What the heck have you been doing? Mr. Yaya, <laughs> she practically throws himself at me. The weight must have been killing him. Standing behind him is a man I don't recognize. Who is that guy? Oh, I know who that guy is. Look ah. Oh, I can't jump yet. What? Ah. Doesn't look like a customer. Okay, tell me, just, just come with me in a minute. Let me into the break room. Sorry, there was a whole bunch of stuff that happened. But look, I got the product back. Apparently opened up one of the cardboard boxes. <gasps> it's Burning Hammer! It really, really is! He clutches the box close and nuzzles it in his cheek. How's the dinner going, I ask? I've got Cherry keeping them occupied with some magic tricks. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Sneak peek through the door and see Cherry guzzling the orange juice from a gigantic container, draining it in one go. Fucking hell, that's something to be seen and believed. Is that really a magic trick? If it buys us time, it's magic enough. For long last, the last of the juice is gone. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Over in the corner of the stage, I see six more huge containers, all likewise empty. Holy shit! She's gonna be pissing like a racehorse for about five days. It's struggling to think that she may have drunk all seven of those things dry. The owners are in the applause like they've forgotten what they originally hit came for. Jerry comes back to the break room, positively drenched in sweat. Oh, I think I should... <laughs> I should have stuck to doing imitations for a little while. Oh, that was fantastic, Jerry. This thing gets, he says, that was just fantastic. Thanks to you, we had enough time to get the bunny hammer back. He bows profusely. All right now, it's time for the main event. Chewie, go out there and guzzle down some bunny hammer. Get yourself all drenched in sweat. <laughs> Got it? Aye aye, boss. And Tema, just go up there, small old big, and say, this helped me lose a bunch of weight too. Got it? Got it. Hmm, good. Now then, yeah, it's just as a man I hadn't noticed before. He's been waiting. Quietly nearby. Of course, speaking your party, miss. This is a service rep from the rental shop who proceeds to try and get me out of my mascot costume. Uh, Masamichi Fukuma, employee of the Far East Costume Rentals, the only son of the company president, Shimichi Fukuma. He is one of the few people who know what Shigemichi looks like. As his father is usually clad in a rabbit cost What? Because his father is usually clad in a rabbit costume. Masamichi has harbored a strong dislike for both his father and the mascot costumes ever since the old man showed up at school on Parents' Day one year dressed in his inevitable rabbit suit. <laughs> Could, could you guys imagine that if your parents just showed up to parents' days dressed in a mascot costume? <laughs> Nevertheless, the son has uh, acquiesced to his father's wishes, and someday he'll inherit the family business. And probably fucking burn it down. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's odd. The little guy tilts his head. What's the matter? He asks nervously. Ah, yeah, this is a no go. The little guy pokes his finger in the back of my suit. This here zipper? It's all jammed up. It's gonna take a long time to get this thing off. What the hell? Mr. Yenji clutches the side of his head. The little guy tries tugging at the costume from various angles, only to free up the zipper, but like he said, it's still no use. Meow. What? What meow? The little guy's eyes widened at the sudden sound of a cat's mewling. Was that you? He looks at me confused. Did you hear a cat meowing? Yes. Was it you? No, not me. I'm as surprised as he is. Must be hearing things. She and Siri didn't don't seem to have heard anything. Bah! He's fuming. Just my luck. 
<laughs> hey man, it's not you that's stuck in the costume, alright? I finally find a cute model and the crowd's never gonna see her! <laughs> hey boss Jesus, the customers are gonna leave if you keep them waiting much longer. What do we do? Want me to go out there and do some more impressions? <laughs> Turkey's repertoire of impressions. A sea lion yawning. A harbour seal hailing a cab. A walrus reading sutras. A fur seal who can't reach the itchy spot on its back. A stellar sea lion taking a nap. Are any of her impressions not of some kind of large porpoise? <laughs> Those are all very specific. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the epic there, Geek and uh, Stupid Man. No, we don't have any choice. Tamar, you're just going to have to go out there dressed like that. Are you sure, I ask? If these people go home, we're done for, he exclaims. Just get out there and get started. I'm counting on you two. How come only they heard the meowing? What the hell is going on? Ladies, terribly sorry to kept you waiting. Uh-oh. Should I spin the action on stage? But now I'm proud to introduce you to the worldwide sensation that is Burning Hammer! The latest product from the West that has taken the diet world by storm. Oh god, it came from the West? Jesus. Have you seen the house is packed? That means there's about 40 people here. We only need to sell five bottles to each customer in order to sell out. I'm here with a sudden joint motivation. Allow us to explain just how this revolutionary new diet drink works as magic, to begins. The plan is for me to describe how the drink works, and then Cherry will demonstrate it in the taste test. Oh no. All eyes are fixed on us. I begin. For the first time in human history, you can drink a single bottle and lose a whole kilogram. That has got to be some class A, class a bullshit right there. Just drink and drink and boom, the excess fell away. Uh-huh. Sodish gasps right up from the crowd. Just take a look at this marvellous red liquid. Even looking at it makes you feel like you'll be shitting weight, right? How? Uh, here's how Burning Hammer works. It activates the capitan found in the chili peppers. The primary spice component of chili peppers is said to be effective for improving blood flow and stimulating the burning of fat. Because it is a severe Skin and eye irritant. It is also an ingredient in some forms of pepper spray for personal defense. <laughs> Jesus, no wonder people were going insane when they drank the shit. That's like drinking pepper spray. Oh, could you imagine that? Yikes! I want to see a deep breath again, continuing, and uh, repeatedly breaks down the. Trueness is responsible for causing obesity. The term is frequently used in recent years to simply refer to the state of being overweight. Obesity in the clinical sense of medication, medical condition involving interrelated health issues including excess body fat, hyperlipidemia, and hyperglycemia. Individuals suffering from obesity are at high risk of complications such as coronary heart disease, diabetes, and sleep apnea. Again, the crowd hums with excitement. This response is better than I could have hoped. We're off to a terrific start. And now, this young lady here will demonstrate Burning Hammer's effects before your very eyes. Oh god. She is sitting in the spotlight. Just wait till you see how much she sweats. Proof that the fat is being burned right on the spot. She holds up a bottle of Burning Hammer up high. Cheers, she says. She opens the bottle, however, one of the women in the front of the Rose speaks up. Hold on. She's already sweating pretty hard. She's right. Cheerio's drenched in sweat from head to toe. Oh my god, that's kind of... Another woman chimes in, suspicious. Ah, oh, that juice drinking from earlier. That was just to make her sweat like that, wasn't it? Uh-oh. All of a sudden, the crowd is in an uproar. 
No, no, not at all. Drinking burning hammer makes you sweat way more than this. I wish to towel off you to sweat for her. Oh, no, yeah. Drink it down. Jesus' face screws up unpleasantly as she gulps down the bottle. And the sweat doesn't... Yeah, why isn't it working? I exclaim the audience have totally forgotten. Yes, I've already sweated too much, she replies in phase. Well, why were you sweating so much? Look, you were talking, taking forever at that 100 yen shop. Oh, oh. Um, the crowd shifts from uproar into a riot. Did you just say 100 yen shop? Scowling customers begin to close in. No, that's not it. You've got it all wrong. Please just listen. Oh, we can see what's going on here. Situation you've gotten out of control. <laughs> no, this way is so valuable that I wanted to shop it. It's about the only way we could get it. Ugh. That's not the way to solve it. Uh oh. I think I just put my foot in it. Customers glare at me, their eyes bright with rage. Hmm. Apology? Uh, I don't think it's gonna go well. Kidding? I'm not sure you can play it off smooth. A hunko lamb chop? The fuck is that? It's a clumsy attempt to force it off, but it's my only option. <laughs> well, you know what? Clumsy and silly has worked, so let's go with that. Hunker Lamb Chop! It's a clumsy attempt to force it off, but it's my only option. She said Hunker Lamb Chop, I repeat. Meaning that Bunny Hammer is just so incredibly fulfilling, having just one tiny bottle will feel like you've eaten a big, meaty meal. Yeah, that's what she meant. Uh-huh, sneers with the customer. Sure. They really sell this at 100 yen shops. Rats, we didn't manage to distract them. Um, a hundred yen shop? Uh, what's that? <laughs> Answer me, do they really sell these at hundred... Look, I cry. It's a chupacabra! I thought my arm out a point, only to accidentally catch one of the attendees in the head and like busy fist. The woman lets out a muted groan and sinks to the floor unconscious. The the crowd stares at me, stunned. Uh, oops, I murmur. Tama shouts me into the rushing out of the big room. What the heck are you doing? Abort! Abort! He yells. Do you let these people know the truth about this stuff? They'll never buy it. Uh oh! Now you've done it. She doesn't hesitate to point the finger at him. Her stare ferocious. Uh, whoops! Realizing what he just blurted out, Miss Nancy is aghast. Now there really is no saving this. The customers descend upon Miss Nancy, the wrath and terror behold. So that it is true. What the hell are you trying to pull? I can't believe you try to sell this crap at these prices. Uh oh. Hey! <laughs> A song goes to the attack. Hit, hit. Ah, <laughs> Should I force my way through the angry mob, hoping to find some way to calm these people down? Cursing and profanity fill the air. The shouts are occupied by merciless, open-handed slaps. Yikes. I get all jostled and tumbled about, and my mascot costume takes a bad beating. <laughs> Finally, the storm passes. Jesus, look at this place. I don't think that could have gotten any worse, to be honest. It's over. It, it's all over. Yeah, she so wails in the empty room. So, um, boss, we're getting paid. Even she seems hesitant to ask. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, obviously. He doesn't see, doesn't so much as look up. His shoulders slump further in defeat. I'll take payment in kind, then, she says. Why don't I take this burning hammer home with me? Sure, yeah, she says, says like, firstly. Go right ahead. Alright, I'll be off then. Later, Tamma! She picks up the cardboard boxes and heads out. 
Um, sir? It's a man from the rental place. I believe you still owe me for the costume rentals. Oh, right. How much was it again? He only rummages through his pockets. Well, given the severe damage, I'm afraid I'm going to have to add the full cost of the cat costume to your bill. Your total comes to 200,000 yen. Was it? 200 yen? No, sir. 200,000. Hmm? Sorry, I can't hear at all. I think I might have ruptured my eardrum. 200,000 yen, sir. Okay, okay. And it takes out... All, uh, takes all the cash he has in his wallet and holds it out reluctantly. That's only 20,000, sir! The rental guy throws his brow. <laughs> I'm afraid this won't cover it. I don't know, I don't got... I don't got no more than this. Don't got no more? Sir, please, you're not a child. Give me a discount. Make it 20,000. Is that the 200 you owe? You know, I can't do that, sir. But Mr. Yenji refuses to back down. Ah, that's right! Insurance! I got insurance in, in the event the suit would mount up damage. No, you didn't. No, I did! You did not, sir. No, I did! Then where's your paperwork to prove it? As he calmly claps a hand over his chest. Right here! The paperwork is inside my heart. <laughs> oh, God. Little guy clutches the sides of his head in exasperation. And believe me, I feel this. I feel this pain. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to leave this to my boss. The Ministry for the President of the Owner of the Far East Costume Mental. Notable for the fact that he's usually wearing his favorite rabbit costume. I still can't wrap my head around that. His costumes are like his children. If he were to hear that one of his suits had been ruined, he would probably never forgive Yenichita, adding to the man's already considerable list of enemies. <laughs> A DL. Turning his back on the ruins of the sales demo, he slumps his way out of the room. It's not a bad end, so was this meant to happen?